Good morning students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe. As you, as you know very well, I am your computer teacher. My name is Divya Hanwar. What's the date today? Today is 29 July 2020. And class 6, you are chapter number 3, working with tables. So today, we will going to start the page number 29. Firstly, practical number first. Firstly, we will understand thoroughly and after we will do in a practical way. So, student, question is your creating a table and entering data into it. Means how to create a table and how to enter data properly in MS Word. So, stars are given below. So, number one start. Let's, let's start. Open the MS Word. Firstly, document and insert a table in it with 10 rows and 5 columns. Okay. After enter headings. In the table, add color, okay, and what color to the header row and enter information and give it below, okay. Now, next, make the headings bold and apply any font that you like, okay. Now, next, insert a row after Shivam's record and enter data as shown below in it. Then, delete the last row in the table and add a border around the table and the table style on it. First the cell in row 2 and with the cell in row 1st. Same as it is follow the steps. In last save the file and close word. Okay. Now come to a question number. Practical number 2. Draw a table in MS Word as shown below using the draw table option. Student. Firstly we will create a table with the help of a draw a table option in pencil through a pencil way and next create a properly we will create a table after the draw table option. Okay. And let's start practical number first in your page number 39. Question is creating a table and entering data into it. So student firstly we will go in our insert tab and click the table and choose the 10 rows and 5 columns. Okay. 3, 4, 5 and choose the 10 rows and after click see students create a table with 10 rows and 5 columns ok and next write the proper name of a column first student names after we will write in class and section ok what will we write class and section okay next we will write in student names first Raman second Daman next Shivam same as it is we will write in student names say student all student name we write properly okay next we will fill in class and section okay next we will fill we will fill in class and section so class is 6 okay now section a come on next next same as it is 6 and section a next same as it is 6 section a okay and Next, we will write in class 6 and section will change B. Okay, section B. Now, fill it properly all table. Okay, same as it is. So, since student, we filled in properly class and section. After, we will enter and mention this side. Okay, what we will write in a subject. Okay, subject name. So, first, I am writing a mass. Next, English. Now, next, last, science. Okay. So, after what we will do, after what, after we will complete and give the all subject related marks. Okay. So, see student. 
properly fill it marks same as it is subject english and science first 81 next 72 and put the same as it is fill it properly marks so student we fill properly marks to related our subjects okay so next what we will do first we create our table properly 10 rows and fifth columns okay now next we already enter headings in the table and now student look what will we do next in a first third to fifth column we will merge okay so firstly we will select same as it is okay now see in a top area merge cell just click okay just click you see properly third column third to column fifth merge the cell properly and after we will write <coughs> heading mention in marks okay out of 100 see properly student marks m a r k s out of 100 so o u t out of 100 so bracket close okay see properly so student we create we created properly in our table ms word so student names class and section marks out of 100 and subject name also mention and marks also given so student next step is your add color okay add color header row this starting is called header row just select okay select this and color the go to home tab and color red color okay see student we colored properly in our red header portion in our header portion now next step is we already mention all this heading next is insert a row okay shivam record shivam cv7 shivam record and we will add insert a row after shivam record and enter the data new data we how to enter the new data to in a shivam record okay student now look select firstly record the shivam and after we will insert the next row okay clear so just go to layout option and click the insert below theek okay? hai click okay so new row is inserted and write this name of new student vimal okay which name vimal enter the name of vimal and same process complete the data same as it is okay student and we entered properly name of vimal and add the section and marks already so student see in your page number 39 practical and do practice okay student same as it is practical number first okay next after we will see in practical number 2 question is draw a table of ms word as shown below using the draw method draw table option method okay now students here next practical just click a table and choose this draw table okay choose this which one draw table pencil with the help of a and just drag and create a table properly okay we created with the method of a draw and see student and mark the line properly seven column okay 1 okay then seven okay and after we created same as it is rows okay now next we will enter we will enter in this name of a week okay firstly mention sunday so put sunday as next monday am okay then tuesday wednesday thursday friday And then last Saturday. Okay, student, see properly. And after we will maintain the 
calendar wise okay mean just see just a example okay you put in this example like date okay same as it is so student like this okay we created a method of draw method of a help of a pencil tools create a table and after we will complete the name of weeks okay and after we will maintain the same as it is number to throw a calendar wise okay same as it is and after we will few changes okay we will enter the related only one month and year also see in top of site we will write in a january month the spelling j a and u a r y okay and after in bottom side we will mention a year 2016 so just an example in according your book okay student so like this and same same as it is after select this okay and main thing mention the color okay mark the color of red side okay so this is example of related practical number two so, so student do practice same as it is practical number first and second class 6 your chapter number 3 working with tables now students we discussed in previously how to inserting a table in a proper different types of methods way inserting table using the insert table option to the help of a table tools drawing a table manually method so this is a picture of related of a table to show a create to throw a row and column combination okay students now next is you another picture of related how to go firstly in which tab to a insert table insert tab to select a table accordingly to related any selection of rows and column and we can manually create our table to the help of our draw table etc so this is a picture of insert tab to relate it in our table tools in ms word and student in last class we discuss related topics in ms word to relate it in your chapter number three working with tables number first terms to learn and worksheet exercises one to four so let's revise firstly terms to learn and after we will revise worksheet one to four tally student properly now see students terms to learn is important topics in your chapter now let's discuss number one point table we know very well students are grid of cells arranged in horizontal rows and vertical column to both our combination is known as a table then second quick tables means pre-design table templates stored in the quick tables gallery means a point in your chapter to relate it it's a combination means ready-made template template shows in your word to a feature about a related in a table quick access to a quick tables next come on a next point three cells since student rectangular boxes formed at the intersection of rows and column okay is known as a cells means both combination define both both interaction intersection defined of rows and column is known as a cells and its form of rectangular shape rectangular boxes next four 
rows. Horizontal collection of contiguous cells along a line means a horizontal way of collection of contiguous cells along a line. So it's a rows. Next fifth columns means vertical form of a collection of contiguous cells along a line. So it's a column. After we discuss about the next point in previously merging cells and we know very well what is a merging cells and we learn in previously through a practically way we know very well merging cells means com combining two or more cells into a single cell okay means combining two or more cells into a single cell now next is splitting cells means dividing a single cell into multiple cells so it's a splitting cells next table styles means build in styles that can apply to format a table quickly okay students it's a build in styles many style form are mentioned in your table tools and we can apply it our table quickly means different types of style applied we can apply it and to apply in our sheet now next last cell margins means the distance between the contents of a cell and its borders okay between the contents distance and related to its border so it's a cell margins now next student we already done in previous previous class worksheet number first just student tally properly answer number first means fill up the table button is situated in the dash tab means tab means insert tab okay now second a dash is a grid of cells horizontally in horizontal row and vertical columns means table third while entering data in a table press the dash key which one tab key student okay now next next to select the entire table you should click on its dash hand which one move hand then next when you point a table the sizing sizing handle is displayed okay bottom right corner side so it's sizing next the top row of a table is generally called the header which one header side okay now next you can insert rows and column layout tab okay and next student we already done in previously worksheet number 2 just check the answer number first it's move handle okay now next second is layout tab okay students next third design tab and fourth merge cells fifth it's split cells so student check properly and write in your book okay and next is worksheet number 3 we already done just a revised okay number first when you click insert table options so table button menu dialog box will be open so true okay it's true now throw an excel sheet looks like a table you cannot insert it in a document it's false okay now next cells are formed at the interaction intersection of a rows and column it's true okay now next a uh, fifth and sixth table means it has rows and columns six columns so it's false next once a table is inserted it cannot be moved or resized it's false okay now six last you can use shift key to yes, select multiple adjacent cells in our tables it's true next worksheet number 4 student check the properly answer number first which button in the alignment group of the layout tab so it's text direction button okay now next which tab contains the option to apply a style to a table so it's a design tab okay now next what is meant by a cell means rectangular box is formed at the interaction intersection of a rows and columns
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट वाई डू यू यूज अ टेबल इन अ डॉक्यूमेंट वी कैन यूज अ टेबल टू प्रेजेंट टेक्शुअल एंड न्यूमेरिकल डेटा इन अ कॉन्साइज वे ओके नाउ विच की शुड यू यूज टू सिलेक्ट एडजस्टेंस कॉलम विच वन स्टूडेंट शिफ्ट की यस नाउ नेक्स्ट विच की शुड यू यूज टू सिलेक्ट नॉन एडजस्टेंट रोज इन अ टेबल इट्स अ कंट्रोल कि आई होप यू ऑल स्टूडेंट यू कम्प्लीट कम्प्लीटेड यूर वर्क now student next today we are going to discuss to related in your chapter number 3 practical number first practical number 2 and worksheet number 5 okay student so let's start worksheet number 5 worksheet number 5 students open your everybody open your notebook and write neat and clean work in your notebook so answer the following question in two and three sentences okay related so question number first is how will you select a single cell in a table your question is how will you select a single cell in a table so let's see answer to select a single cell an entire row or column okay multiple rows and columns or an entire table to select an individual cell move the mouse to the left side of the cell until you say it turn into a black arrow that points up and to the right click in the cell at that point to select it so it's your question is what is your question exactly question number first how will you select a single cell in a table so simply we can say to select a single cell entire row or column we can select properly so multiple rows or column and we can see or an entire table select to throw in a table so individual cell move the mouse to the left side of the cell so it's a simply topic to related a uh, how to select a properly single cell in a table now student see next question question number 2 what do the move and sizing handles help you to do so answer is to move the table drag it from the move handle that appears at the top left corner when you point to a table and sizing handles help you to do resize a table by dragging it from its resizing handles okay now next third what do the design tab and layout tabs under the table tools help you to do so answer is the design tab contains options to allow you to format the table and change its design and layout tabs contains option to allow you to modify the structure of a table and added the table data okay student it means design tabs helps us to format the table to relate it related to all design and layout tabs to contain helps to modify the structure of a table and added and changes to the requirement according of a table data okay now student next question number 4 okay your question number 4 how can you add an extra row at the end of a table so student it's a very simple steps given below so first of all to add an extra row at the end of a table number first step to add a row above the selected cell click insert above okay firstly we will click insert above then next to add a row below the selected the selected cell click insert below to add a row at the end of a table you can click the right most cell of the and then press tab in question number 4 two step is two steps are given below so next come on our next and last question in your chapter question number 5 how will you add a style to a table state briefly okay so answer is number first step 
select the table to which you want to apply your table style. Firstly, we will start and apply select the table, our table style. So second, open the table tools design tab and the design tab under the table tools contextual menu control the over appearance of the table using table style options you can include borders the cells and even fill colors in the cells so it's very simple to how to add a style to our table in ms word firstly Select the table and after open the table tools design tab and choose the accordingly design tab designs and overall we can choose the border and fill colors after in the cells. Okay students. So class 6 your homework is today chapter number 3 worksheet number 5 do in notebook and do practice practical 1 and 2 on your PC means computer. Okay. So student, today we completed chapter number 3, working with tables. So student, read full chapter and complete the all works. Okay students?